Greetings, fellow Vultures. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld The Vultures, episode 23, which originally streamed live on Twitch. The last hour of last stream, we finally got a genome stabilizer from the vault we hit up, which reduces the fail chance by another 10%, which means that we can go through the gene tailoring pod a lot more safely than before. I do have some plans for myself for this stream. One of the things I really want to do is start to actually get some legitimate super soldiers because we just don't have any yet. Meaning take a lot more risks gene tailoring and I'm going to have you all decide on who goes in, etc, etc. I'd also like to get two pods going, so that's going to be probably a pretty early priority. Now, what I am going to do, as you can see, the priority above my head was to find the genome stabilizer. I'm going to allow you all to vote whether I get an additional genome stabilizer or hunt for one, although it seems to be rare, or do other things. But uh, hunting for another genome stabilizer is what I'm going to start off as. We also have aggro over here uh, grinding out some simple plasteel helmets for protection. We still have Kellyan and Chaotic and Shaken and Rob's uh, to yet get helmets. So that's another thing that we want to do. Have I thought about redoing old challenges uh, like sea ice? Yes. So actually, there is a formal process about how my series are chosen. So there it is. It's a sort of a flow chart about how series are picked. So a lot of the times I just leave it up to my my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers. And that's exactly the case here. That uh, I actually chose this one, which is rare, but most of the series that are run are decided upon by Patreon patrons and Twitch subs. And then by polling by all of you. So let me see what's going on. I, I would like to have, uh, leave Agro home today so that he can work on getting his crafting. Once his crafting hits about eight, it's going to be a lot more powerful. He'll be able to start making components, advanced components, etc., etc., and then, you know, good armor. One of the reasons why he's powering through is he has the Masterful Craft, which uh, means that he's very, very capable uh, making amazing stuff. Kriv and Lolan, thank you for the resub. Both both of you are patrons as well. So, thank you twice over. Uh, so tomorrow morning, I think what I'll do is I'll send uh, Noob and Iscandia. I don't really have a good uh, hacker anymore now that Glitch is frozen. I'm really sort of curious to know whether or not that was a bug or not. I'm thinking it was a bug. I think that, generally speaking, the way Trauma Savant works, Trauma Savant is not part of a mod. It is default uh, RimWorld. Uh, the way Trauma Savant is supposed to work is that when you receive brain damage, instead of having a lower mental capacity as a result of that brain damage, you end up um, as a Trauma Savant, which increases your manipulation at the cost of basically everything else. At the cost of talking and, you know, that kind of thing. So generally speaking, trauma savants are not supposed to die in the process of becoming trauma savants. So I quite honestly don't know why he just up and 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 died. Because it, it seems uh, wrong. But I also... Uh, so there was a lot of YouTube comments about that. And one of the things that I feel, personally... Is that RimWorld is obviously a storytelling game, and stories don't need to be fair. They don't need to be just. Uh, so when things like that happen, I just sort of take it on the chin because it's part of the game. And part of the story. Those tragedies, undeserved tragedies. Of course, the same could be said for me, like, eyeball lasering myself to death, but that's just me being stupid, and I should know better. For some reason or another, I don't know better yet. Big C Panda, thanks for all the gifted subs. I will do my best to keep yourself alive. Not because you gifted subs, though. So we also had voted that I was going to slightly abuse the cochlear implant uh, to try to keep my transhumanist happy. And Dastardly Dino, thanks for the gifted subs as well. Cheers, all. 
All right, it is morning, and I did say that I was going to go to another vault come morning. I only have open vaults, so if I only have open vaults, it actually doesn't really matter who I send. Uh, whoever I send just needs to have research skill. So, chaotic. No, no, you have a minigun. That will slow you down. Uh, Kieran. Ooh, I just tabbed out. Uh, you loner. Perfect. I'm going to send a loner out. So these open vaults tend not to have gear. They tend to be relatively devoid of valuable things because they've already been looted. But what I will do is I'll bring the donkeys to help haul in case there's stuffing something out there uh, worth having. Bring kibble, pack of survival meals, rice. It also looks like my rice is rather low, so I might want to remedy that at some point. And then I was going to bring meds with Kieran. All right. So Kieran's off. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is uh, showing up to the vaults to hack the consoles to figure out the location of other vaults. Yeah, I, I need to troubleshoot some software. I have all the, like, sub-alert things off, and it's freaking out anyway. So, uh, I'll need to troubleshoot that. I also have some uh, sort of decisions for all, you all to make. Uh, so there was another proposal about putting the neural superchargers and the biosculptor pods inside the bedrooms instead of uh, sort of communal space. I'm not, I haven't really planned out what that would look like in terms of, you know, do we even have the space for the bedrooms, etc. Uh, but I figured uh, I could pull for that at some point. Ooh, that's a lot of hops going bye-bye. And the smoke leaves are going to go bye-bye, too. Oh, God, that noise of them being roped sounds horrible. So, the smoke leaf is about to go bye-bye, huh? I'll load it all in, and let's see if there's other stuff to load in. The... I'll keep the plain leather, I guess, and sell everything else, or uh, donate it, rather. It's not really selling. And... I'll stick one of the, one of the nice nanites in there. Compact weaponry, I don't think we're going to want. Well, it doesn't hurt to unlock. Well, ah, I'll get rid of it. And is that it? Let's get rid of some of the weapons that I'm never going to use. I, of course, could trade these away, but uh, it's just as nice to just launch them to another vault and then get back something random. All right, that looks good. All right. <laughs> Not only does my software blow up on me, but uh, the stream crashes. That is, that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for the welcome back. I missed you all. It's going to be one of those days, is it? Where uh, everything that can go wrong will go wrong? I don't like those days. All right, so what happened while the stream was rebooting was I was just setting up uh, some random junk to be slingshot, and Kieran is still on his way out. Oh, and Agro has Carcinoma. So I will operate on that, I suppose. The worry thing... Worry, uh... Who could doctor you? Macho. Yeah, Macho small face can talk to you. Amputate the torso. Yeah, I don't I don't 
I don't think that would go uh, over so well. So Kieran is on his way out. Hopefully being a loner will keep him happy on the trip. Uh, one quick question for you. Who should be chosen for a pod cycle? So we have an empty pod ready to go. And... Sea Panda, you kind of... Well, you can still read it at the bottom there. We'll have to make sure to correct that next time. So, Aggro no longer has stomach cancer. That's good. We're trying to repair some of the external walls of our vault, which have been damaged greatly. And have you all vote on who goes through. So Rob's is going to be out in about four days doing bioregeneration. Trying to get rid of that bad back, if I recall. Uh, Agro will be back up any minute now to continue the simple helmet and cochlear implant queue. And as you can see, those helmets are being worn, which is good. And then as far as Macho goes... Yeah, Macho small face, you're here. Good. Um, that's apparently the whole message... Uh, we can either remove your paranoia, which means that you are unhappy when you leave the base, or add another power and you can decide. Actually, just message me now and you can let me know what you want. Um, yeah, if, if people are present, they can decide for themselves. If they are not, the community decides. New power? You got it. And thank you for the hype train, guys. Guero Bear Mage, thank you for the bits. Mei Len and Techie. Thank you for the resubs. And sorry that I, I briefly disappeared. You weren't hoodwinked. I'm also going to uh, be changing the layout here to accommodate another gene tailoring pod. I think now that we have the infrastructure, we can start to do double pods. And shuttle is loaded. Good. All right, Macho. Tis time. Now, the fail chance should be really low because of the stabilizer that we have. 20% chance. All right. Even though it's a 20% chance of failure, I will still uh, let you predict. Will the gene tailoring succeed? Yes or no? All right, there it is. <laughs> Glitch is like, he's gonna die. Well, we will see. Can both of them benefit from the same machine? Uh, yes, I believe they can. You know what? I'm not gonna move this stuff around while he's in the pod. That might yield poor results. I would very much like to try to get the base back up to working order. Hey, Chaotic, I'm going to put you on research, though, because you really shouldn't be constructing. I'll allow everyone to construct, and I'll try to micromanage them so that they don't have mental breakdowns. Kilgore is back to making pack of survival meals, or fine meals rather, which is part of our paste and fine. Oh, and speaking of which, Kieran, you're allowed to travel, but everyone else should be paste and fine meals. Noob, what do you have forced? A shield belt? All right, I can clear that. Ooh, some petting Yoda. Old man Mino, thank you for the follow. Because the Yoda Cam Redemption is broken, I will just periodically put him on. Because he's cute. And a better streamer than I am. It's okay. I know you all were thinking it. So, Kieran, you are very close to your destination. 
We also have quests out here. So another thing I'm going to ask is what should the priority be? Go questing. Open additional vaults for the last genome. Or work on gear and weapons. Which is something that I'm probably going to do anyway. But I would make it more of a focus. Uh, the other thing we could do is viewer suggestions. Maybe you guys know better than I. And you can add something to the list. So there we go. I'll give you two and a half minutes to vote on that. Legendary. I like. Agro, how about you just wear that? Because uh, you made it. You keep it. So here is Kieran's vault. Now these uh, broken into... Oh, there's already a solar power generator. Wait. Where the heck is the entrance? Alright, when you say it's a looted vault, how did they loot it? Kieran, are you able to mine? Five, with a passion. Okay. So there is a... Um, there's a bit of a bug that I'm going to use here. How do I set this up? I forget. It was... Sleeping spots? No. Normally it's, um... The monument blueprints. Maybe androids are in this vault? Yeah, maybe. Seems like it. Alright, I'm just going to mine arbitrarily into it. It seems like... Uh, this year has like rough, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Crimson. Welcome to the stream. Ooh, and hydrate. Well, I'm finding something. I see a vault wall. Well, that's an interesting one. We'll, uh, we'll do the best we can trying to get our way in there. real door in the north side now nah, there's like no doors here this is a limestone wall but this is part of ruins so it's not part of the vault by design hey crimson thanks for gifting out a sub Open additional vaults. Uh, I guess what I could do... Who runs real fast? Let's see about this. Colonists. Stats. Move speed. Aggro is the fastest mover, but he I want on the... Uh, so maybe noob? Alright, noob. You're going to go to the other one. Seven meals. Yeah, let's make it eight. Chat has voted. So I'm just going to leave that priority up because it's basically what we're working on. Yeah, all right. Let's see if we can't find this vault here. Don't forget to change mail restrictions. I already done. So this solar panel goes straight. Th I don't get what's going on here. Oh, and more legendary. I could dig it. What is going on here? Hospitality for friends. East Shield Tribe wants me to host three tribes people for 16 days. 
should I host for the tribe? What do you guys think? Are the rewards worth it? 16 days of feeding three freeloaders? We're not. Here, two and a half minutes voting on that. Okay, so we have hit a bit of an end here. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is... Let's see, can I... No. I don't get to see what's in there. Alright, I'm going to dig where the cables is. Also, I want to point out that uh, they built a solar generator underneath a roof. So... The degree as to how obnoxious this um, vault is, it's like also broken. And I love it. It's hilarious. I thought there was a power cable here. Lord, I don't know. I don't know about this vault. I hope the other one's better. So it looks like the vault walls right at the entrance are repaired and we're still repairing other things. Noob's on his way. Kieran decided to have a nap. A meteorite fa fell on the vault and it was strong enough to resist. Yeah, I, I believe it. So luckily... The gene tailoring pod works in solar flares. Because otherwise that'd be a bit of a problem. Someone said the door might be top right. Here? I could try it. I mean, I don't have any more intel than you guys do. Hi, Tusky. You want to hop up on the couch? What's up, girl? No one can see you when you're there. You got to be over here. So you're visible. <laughs> Yodi, you got to sit. You're going to fall. You crazy. All right. Forget the hosting for the tribe. We are about to get advanced fab. Uh, we, unless aggro has leveled up considerably. No, but he's on his way. We don't have anyone that can even make use of that. Uh, what should next research be? So what are our choices? Oh, so the multi-analyzer is inactive. Oh, right, because of the solar flare. Um, recon armor will be a choice. Shields. There's the light. Package survival meals. Gas operation. Or... Drug production. All right. What you think? Cargo pods of light leather. Light leather is garbage, by the way, but hey, it's free. And a caravan detected coming into Kieran. So Kieran has uh, two and a half, or about three days to finish this off. And then I'll have to leave. Kelly and deciding to hide in her room. And Macho is one day out left in that pod. So I'm going to start researching gas operation because that's what's leading. But if it changes, I'll change it accordingly. All right, so that was a whole lot of nowhere, nothing. It was a nice guess. 
didn't work. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is just start mining the perimeter here. Rather than do some guesswork. And let's go ahead and butcher another creature because our rice is basically tapped. Although we do have a lot of fine meals, so that, that part's good. And I'll just be micromanaging Kieran. So Noob is about a half a day away to another looted vault. Hopefully the other looted vault is not buried. But we might just have to pull the ripcord and call this one a bust. Maybe this is one of the looted vaults that we learned about from an um, interrogated victim. And as a result, they gave us bad intel. How do they loot it? Maybe a slingshot. Maybe it was looted from the inside. Who knows, man? Who knows? Oh, well, I can't remove roofs this way, so we're going to be slow mining now. Our vault walls are slowly getting repaired. It's a lot of labor, but it keeps us safe. Oh, something's happening over here. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Oh, and Kieran is also starving. So, yeah, I will allow you to go get food. In fact, let's uh, let's have you be smarter about this. Where is my food? You? Okay. Night, Nath. Quit moving around. At least he knows how to mine. It could have been worse. Alright, looks like it's a bit of a tiebreaker. No, wait, no, Shields won by a vote. So let's uh, switch back over to Shields. And then I'm going to ask... Who should be chosen for gene modding next? Because Macho is going to be done in 16 hours. Hey, Orcs Bane. And Virtua Push. Oh, there we go. We found it. My persistence pays off. There is not much here. There is a... Hey, there's a casket. There might be a person. So taking a look at Osmodius, if you're curious, Osmodius has three superpowers, three weaknesses. The weaknesses aren't very terrible weaknesses, as far as I'm concerned. But one of the more powered individuals that we have. And here's Noob going to the other open. Okay, this one's a lot less frustrating. Because we can just walk in. So what does this got? This has a wooden poker table. Like, that's it. Wow. That's pretty ruined. Has some cloth that I could grab if I wanted to rip it up. I don't. I'll deconstruct the, uh, the turrets for components and then hack. Now, the purpose of coming to these is the hacked ancient broadcast station will show us a sealed vault, which is a far better lead than just, uh, than these looted vaults. Looted vaults still can sometimes have stuff left over, like gene modding stuff, but obviously not these. Go eat. Go rest. So if aggro is... Yes, so we do have a co cochlear implant. I do believe that one of us is transhumanist. So probably the transhumanist should get it first. Is it Kieran or Noob that's transhumanist? Uh, so Kieran is. Kieran's a body modder. And 
I think that's it. So I, at this point, it doesn't really matter. It's just gonna go, because he's away. It's gonna go to the people that don't have other body parts. So if we take a look at the stone skin gland, armor skin glands, nothing. So uh, I'm gonna give it to Chaotic, who's already blind, so we're just gonna make him more deaf. And you guys want Asmodeus going in next. Got it. Chaotic, if you're exhausted, can you stop eating my uh, fun meals and, and go to sleep? So there we go. Noob has found a sealed vault, and it's actually very close to the base, which is great. Or no, that was Kieran. And then Kieran is going to hack this pod to see if we want to send one of our own to another vault and replace them. So the reason why we're doing the cochlear implants is we have the transhumanist meme. So if you take a look at someone like Chaotic, uh, no artificial body part minus three. So cochlear implants are very cheap, and they're also good training for aggro to smith for crafting skill. And then it makes people happy, so it's kind of a win-win-win. So now Chaotic here has a transhumanist modded, so that's a net of plus four. And the damage to his hearing doesn't really matter because he's not uh, he's not one of the traders. So to identify the traders, uh, trade price improvement. We aggro should not get the implants. Maybe Zela either because Zela is also one of the other traders or Kellyan. Ritistan, thank you for the uh, the resub. And there we go. We found yet another vault. So two sealed vaults, and that was noobs. Way to go, noob noob. So, noob noob, there's really nothing here to stick around for. So I'm going to send you home. But you did a great job. I am proud of you. Oh, there's a silver sculpture and a uranium sculpture. Mm, don't mind if I do. And some silver. This time I won't bring chunks home. So Macho is about to pop up, six more hours, and then we'll have an answer as to was it good or not. Oh man, I should stop allowing these walls to get so destroyed. A lot of it is actually our uh, Kilgore blowing them up with her eyeballs. Nice, Sea Panda has a frenzy. I like it. So here we go. Pop this open. Oh. You haven't joined us. Interesting. Very interesting. You just are like, ah, I'm good. Bye. He isn't, uh, he's not Vulture. All right. His powers, if we were able to keep him, is he, he heals super fast and he can heal others. He's callous, so he doesn't really care about things, and uh, he always knows better, so he never learns. But we can't add him, because he's uh, not of our ideology. So, Kieran, you're coming home, too. And you're going to bring... I don't think the ancient solar generator is going to be worth anything, because, like, what are we going to do with it? But uh, we're going to bring it home anyway to just, like, send it pod -wise. You know what? No, hold on. Uh, I will... I scratch that. There's no slingshot here. Alright, <clears throat> I'll bring it home just to slingshot it. I don't want to abuse the slingshot mechanisms too badly, because you can become instantly super wealthy very, very, very quickly with little effort. But, uh, this stuff isn't worth too much, so... Just makes it so that we have some yield for our effort. And Bruce Solo, thanks for the sub as well. Cheers. Chaotic's back up. Blind and deaf in one ear. Life is l really looking up for you, buddy. Also, why aren't you... Oh, because research is full. All right, C-Panda, I'm pulling you off of research because Chaotic is better at it. Kieran, there is a trade available. And... 
Yeah, there is nothing that I can trade. So keep moving. That's another risk when we are caravanning, especially caravanning with a lot of animals. There's a big risk of... Um... Oh, Macho, you have a choice here. There's a big risk of being seen because we have a lot of high visibility. So animal speech, the subject is capable of uh, psychically overloading an animal's hormone production once per day, convincing them that they're a member of this, their species, and it either stops a man hunting or convinces them to join. Basically, it is a uh, inspired taming. Or Eagle Eye, uh, where the weapon range is doubled. And then if we take animal speech, we get bloodlust. Upon killing, might enter a berserk mental state. And then if we take Eagle Eye, we'll get Lustful. Constantly flirts with others, always rejected. So, basically, no one will like you. Macho? What choice would you like to make? Talk to animals, but want to kill everyone if you kill someone. Or option number two, Eagle Eye, but Lustful. All right. And then... Osmodius, you are next up. What cycle to choose? Add power, remove weakness. You guys choose. And the prediction here is that it did succeed. And I'll set up a, a new prediction once we choose this cycle here so that you know the percents of outcomes. I think it's more fair to, to wait. So chaotic uh, macho, you are the next one for a cochlear implant too. And then when Noob and Kieran gets home, especially with the all those animals, we'll be sending them out to another vault. Okay, remove weakness cycle. I'm on it. So, a 70% 70, 70 chance of failure here. And this is going to remove the toxic intolerance. So, um... Will the gene... Will the gene tailoring result in brain injury? Um, I'm just going to call injury death. So just to let you all know, if you succeed, this is a no. And then if he goes berserk, it's also a no. The injury or death is the brain injury or death which is a, if fail, there's a two-thirds chance of injury or death. So you know what you're voting on. Yo, Kellyan, I'm pretty sure I told you not to repair that. High risk, risk, low reward. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. But if we lose some soldiers that aren't super soldiers this way, that gives us room to recruit future people that might actually become super soldiers. And Thomas Jade, I love the name. Uh, I'm guessing that's a partial reference to the actor who makes for a, uh, yeah. Maybe it is not. But I, I like Thomas Jane. What if he goes sterile? <laughs> Alright, Scandia, you want to get food now. I'm doing a little remodeling here, as uh, you might be able to see. 
and we have a siege of zero day exploiters here. Uh, sieges are very, very tricky for them to win because they group up real nicely and go kaboom a boom. We also have a supply crate coming in, a tough skin gland, and a plasma sword. So a brain dead colonist would be an injury. The only way to pass is either it works or berserk. I know berserks often result in injury, but that's not the kind of injuries I mean. All right, kill Goran Agro. It's time for murder. See if I can get the shells too. Uh, other superpowers they can play with. Let's see here. Kelly, and you come out. Macho, you come out. Any of them have body parts that I want to take. Uh, you got a bionic tongue. <laughs> okay. What are you, Toad? And Kieran's own. Macho, take your time. So, Kellyan, your superpower is that you're a weapons expert, so you fire real fast. Zayla, you're already out here, so you might as well join us with your invisibility. The worry there is if you do... Oh, well, that's if you're slighted. I think you should be okay. Uh, Sea Panda, you want to start? Oh, you have Electricity Blast. Yeah, get on in here. Let's shock him. Oh, that was it. Lame. Disappointed. Catch them. My guys uh, need more Bionic Legs. So you, with the shield belt. It's my shield belt. And then you, with the recon armor uh, that I just destroyed. Never mind. You can you can keep it. Ball is running. Oh yes, because Kieran. Okay, that's my fault. Alrighty. Well, siege begun. There's some components over here that I might not want destroyed. That wasn't bio-coded, but it's going to be gone as well. Uh, would be good if my animals didn't wander away. So, I think... Um, let's see here. Handling is one. I'll just have them sort of automatically do it. Hey, Nitro Leak! Thanks for becoming a patron, by the way, and welcome to Discord as well. The music makes the fight more epic. Thanks. Spent uh, longer than I'm willing to admit on trying to get the soundtrack just right. So, Iskandi, are you the one? No. Okay, I, I do have the bedroom set up correctly. Good. So, Noob's on his way home, and then tomorrow morning I'll send Iskandia and others out to the sealed vault once these animals are nice and unloaded. Because they have a lot of random junk on them. Macho, you are already flirting with people. Rob should be out very soon. So here's a big question. Should I put the um, superchargers and biopods in bedrooms or keep it communal?
So currently they're communal. If I put them in the uh, bedrooms, what I might need to do is to set up... I might need to enable a mod called locks to only allow people that own the bedrooms to go in the bedrooms. But, you know, we'll, we'll see about that. And yeah, the mono sword and the tough skin gland is still sitting out here. Shield of Tribe is visiting us. If we want to trade with Stinkbug. Now there's one other alternative, which is Comedal except for Aggro. Aggro being the leader. And we could set that up as well. It would it would make this room a little, look a little bit cleaner. So I think the animals are finally getting hauled in. I'm going to empty them out so we can head on out to a new vault. Selling all the stuff that I brought is going to be a little annoying because it's just going to go to general storage. Oh, and you didn't rope Skyrim properly, so now... The doors are open and they're all getting wandering around. Sludgy, thanks for the sub. Yeah, no spoilers for other series. Just because you've you're up to date doesn't mean everybody is. Shields is done. Uh, so you guys want it communal? I'll probably keep it communal. Uh, when we pulled for C shields, the runner-up was gas up. So I'm going to start to do gas up rather than pull again, because gas up was, uh, almost tied. Oh, the walls are finally starting to look nice. I know I have some deep holes here. Guys, could you... Oh, my. Oh, my lord. Rope the animals. <laughs> Quit making such a mess. Okay. Uh, force hall. Because this is... This is getting gross. Very gross. Very fast. The result was that we'll have the things like this be communal rather than owned property. So there is a mod called Locks, which allows you to set up doors to set ownership so that only people that are allowed through the door can go through, which is one of the ways you could set up individual rooms. But I don't really need to do that if we're communal. A circadian assistant, berserk pulse, and skip. So the side trainers are obviously going to be sold. The art isn't terrible. I'm sure I could find use for it, maybe here in the uh, in the ritual room. And then the circadian system is kind of nice for us to not have to sleep as much. I am going to send... Is there recon armor for Sea Panda? I'd like to send Sea Panda out to the next vault. I think what I need to do is I need to trim out some of the garbage that I have. I have a lot of stuff that I don't need, so that's top priority, because we have so much junk. I'm even going to send the uh, unstable power cell. Don't need it.
All right, big donation. Can I replace tiles so the entryway doesn't look like patchwork? Sure. I finally have the steel for that now. I could do it kind of everywhere. I'll leave it here for now, because it's not ugly. Is this silver? Yeah, that's silver tile. Uh, let's replace that with steel tile. Reclaim some of the silver. Except for where the rec room is. I'll actually purposely put in silver tile. Alright, Operation Home Improvement. You're welcome, Bob Vila. I'm Destroy with Roy. Thanks for the gifted subs. So, Moko, I'm using your, your ideas here. Alright, we'll get this junk donated to who's ever at the end of the slingshot. And that will uh, give us a little bit more room to play with. Because... Our base got junked up pretty quick. You can't really see the total value. You can just see the contents, so I don't really know what it adds up to. But send? Probably worth a fair bit. And uh, I sort of missed today's window to go out. So I'm, I'm not going to. Kieran, you are next in line for an implant. So let's get that surgery going. And then Macho, I'm also going to set you up for an implant as well. A part of me wants to, like, cut out Macho's tongue so he can't flirt with anyone else. Because, uh, it's, he's going to be really upset all the time. As you can see, he's being rebuffed by everybody all the time. I feel like missing a tongue will be less of a uh, penalty. Oh, there he is, flirting with aggro again. Jesus, we really are going to need to remove that weakness of yours. Just world things. Cut out the tongue. Can I make the double bedroom a hospital? I could. I certainly could. It's not a bad idea. Uninstall the jade bed for now, and then stick a double hospital in there. These are small little projects that I obviously can incorporate without much issue. So aggro is about to hit the 8k to become crafting 8. Which is a, uh, a milestone that we need to hit. But you need rest. So Kieran, you now have the cochlear implant. Macho's for it next. Zayla, you have a bad back. Uh, let me get Zayla through a pod cycle. Remove that bad back. So, Bio Sculptor for Bio Regen recovers the bad back spine. And we'll see you when you're out. Robs. I was pretty sure that you went through. Maybe it lessened your heart blockage. But I'm going to send you right back for a sculpt as well. Well, no, I'm not. I'll just, re g given your advanced age, I'm gonna give you a artificial heart so that you can't have heart attacks or whatever. And let's go and send a new entourage to a new vault. So chaotic. I want you to ditch your recon armor. Sea Panda, come and grab it. So that Sea Panda moves a little bit faster. And then Sea Panda, Noob, and Iscandia are going to head out. To a new vault. Yeah, I'll just bring the pemmican just to just to get rid of it. Uh, 
So going into this one will be Escandia, Noob, and Sea Panda. And then I'm also going to want to bring the Breach Axe. Thought I had another Breach Axe other than that. Oh well. What are my hydroponics of basin lights? That's the way the mod is. Thank you for tuning in to The Vultures, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 6th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, or alternatively hop on Discord and chat with me. Rodomont.com and the description of this video have a link to Discord. If you want to catch a live stream, Rodomont.com has my countdown timers and my schedule. Or alternatively, you can hop on Discord and sign up for the events announcements. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers that support the channel and viewers like you that like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell and stay safe out there, fellow vultures.